Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you five different music platforms that you can embed into your Notion pages. Music can be a great way to add some ambiance to your Notion workspaces. So let's get started. Let's first start by going over how embeds work. So if you type slash embed, you can get this embed block and you can basically just embed any kind of link here and see if it works. So although we're going to be talking about five different platforms, you could try an alternative music platform that you want to see if it embeds and do it by typing slash embed this way and then adding the link here. You can also just simply paste in a link and then choose an embed option to see if it works as well. So the first platform we'd like to show you is Spotify. So if we go to Spotify, and let's say that we want to embed this album, Coffee and Jazz. Well, all you need to do is go to the three dots here. And if you wanted a specific song, you could go to the three dots on a song as well. And if we click the three dots, you'll notice that there's an option for share. And instead of embed album, you want to go to the copy album link and it's going to get copied to your clipboard. And you can use this to type slash embed and then paste in the link like this. So this is our recommended way to embed Spotify and you can also move this around like this if you want more. You can make it smaller like this. You can even squish it this way as well. So it's very versatile in the way that you can format it. And one thing we'd like to note is that with Spotify, you can only listen to music for 30 seconds per song. So if you're looking for a way to listen and have background music the whole time, Spotify might not be the best way to do this. But if you have a nice playlist that keeps changing every 30 seconds and you don't mind, that could be a great way as well. Or if you want to actually just use Notion to store the music that you like on Spotify by embedding and then you just simply open it on Spotify, then you can also do that by clicking the link this way as well. So next we'd like to show you how to embed YouTube and of course YouTube is a great way to just simply add videos but there's also a lot of music that you can use from YouTube. So if we go to a YouTube video that has some nice music like this 4k cozy coffee shop and we go to share button here you can click the copy button and then go to your notion page and type slash embed and you could just paste it in like this and you have the video here. So this is a great way to add a lengthier music to your Notion pages and it usually comes with some nice visuals. So this can also be a great way to add music and you can also move it around using these bars here. The next platform we'd like to show you is Deezer. So if we go to Deezer and then if we, let's say, go to this coffee break and if we click the three dots just like in Spotify and click share, you can simply copy this link. Then we can go to our Notion page and type slash embed and you can embed it by pasting in the link and it should look something like this. And Deezer also has a limit for how long you can play a song, so just be careful with that and... Just like with Spotify, you might want to choose another method if you want a longer music to listen to. The next option we have is SoundCloud and SoundCloud can allow you to add longer music. So if we go to SoundCloud and for example, we have this song by Luke Rambo, and we go to share and we can copy the link here and we go to Notion, we can do the same, which is slash embed and we can paste in the link and it will look something like this. So this is another great way to add SoundCloud to your Notion workspaces. And then finally we have Apple Music and for Apple Music, it seems that you can actually play longer clips. So if we go to Apple Music, this web player, and then again, we just simply click the three dots. So if we are at this lo-fi chill, we can click the share button and then copy a link. And if we go to Notion and do slash embed and we paste it in like so, you'll get the Apple Music. And if we click play, you'll see that it gives you one minute and 30 seconds, which is a lot longer than Spotify. 
So those are the ways that you can use embeds in order to add music to your workspaces. We hope that this was useful for you. Which of these platforms do you use the most? And let us know if you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.